Hello, everyone, and welcome to Quiz Class. Today we have a 100 question quiz, and we will be looking at the 1950s, the 1950s music to be more exact. Here are our Quiz Class awards. And our six categories are rock and roll, doo wop, rhythm and blues, country, traditional pop, and jazz. And let's begin with question number one. We are looking at the category of rock and roll. Which Chuck Berry song is known for its iconic guitar riff? Johnny Be Good, La Bamba, or Rock Around the Clock? Johnny Be Good. Which song solidified Elvis Presley's status as the king of rock and roll? Hound Dog, Rock Around the Clock, or Great Balls of Fire? Hound Dog. Which song by Big Joe Turner became a rock and roll hit? That'll Be the Day, Shake, Rattle and Roll, or Break, Rock and Roll? Shake, rattle, and roll. Who is known for their signature guitar playing style and storytelling lyrics in songs like Maybelline? Chuck Berry, Dion DiMucci, or Bob Dylan? Chuck Berry. Which song by Jerry Lee Lewis became one of his biggest hits? Like a Rolling Stone, Jailhouse Rock, or Whole Lot of Shaking Going On. Whole Lot of Shaking Going On. Who wrote the song That'll Be the Day? Buddy Holly, Bobby Day, or Bobby Freeman? Buddy Holly. Which song by Bobby Day became a popular rock and roll hit? Bangin' Blues, Rockin' Robin, or Swingin' Susie? Rockin' Robin. Who wrote and recorded the song Blue Suede Shoes? Ricky Nelson, Elvis Presley, or Carl Perkins? Carl Perkins. Which song by Little Richard is often considered one of the defining tracks of early rock and roll? It was released in 1955. Good Golly Miss Molly, Long Tall Sally, or Tutti Frutti? Tutti Frutti. Which song marked Elvis Presley's first number one hit on the Billboard charts? Heartbreak Hotel, Hound Dog, or Jailhouse Rock? Heartbreak Hotel. Who is known for their distinctive vocal style in the song Peggy Sue? Jerry Lee Lewis, Little Richard, or Buddy Holly? Buddy Holly. Which song blends elements of rock and roll with a touch of country? Love Story, Great Balls of Fire, or Wake Up Little Susie? Wake Up Little Susie. Which song by Richie Valens fuses rock and roll with traditional Mexican folk music? Hound Dog, La Bamba, or Rock Around the Clock? La Bamba. 
Who performed the heartfelt ballad Johnny Angel, James Brown, Patsy Cline, or Shelley Fabre? Shelley Fabre. Which song by the Coasters became a popular rock and roll novelty hit? Yakety Yak, Rickety Rack, or Flappity Flap? Yakety Yak. And let's move to Doo Wop. Which doo-wop song from the 1950s by the Penguins is known for its smooth harmonies and romantic lyrics? Earth Angel, Sixteen Candles, or Crying in the Chapel? Earth Angel. Which song by the Five Satins is characterized by its dreamy atmosphere and heartfelt vocals? Little Darlin', In the Still of the Night, or my true story. In the still of the night. Which doo-wop song by the Marcells brought a fresh and energetic twist to the genre with its dip de dip vocal style? There goes my baby, Gloria, or Blue Moon. Blue Moon. Which doo-wop song from the 50s is considered one of the greatest ballads of all time? Zippity Zum, Yakety Yak, or I Only Have Eyes For You? I Only Have Eyes For You. Which song by the Platters showcases a smooth vocal harmony and romantic style? Zippity Zum, Only You and You Alone, or Good Night, Sweetheart, Good Night. Only You and You Alone. Which song by the Spaniels is a classic featuring heartfelt vocals and a timeless melody? Come Go With Me, Good Night, Sweetheart, Good Night, or Love Potion Number Nine. Good night, sweetheart, good night. Which doo-wop song from the 50s is notable for its innovative use of strings and Latin rhythms? There Goes My Baby, Please Say You Want Me, or My True Story. There Goes My Baby. Which song by the Dell Vikings is known for its catchy melody, smooth harmonies, and upbeat lyrics? Come go with me, Since I Don't Have You, or Sincerely. Come go with me. Who performed the 1954 hit, Speedo? The Cadillacs, the Penguins, or the Spaniels? The Cadillacs. Which song is a heartfelt ballad with soulful vocals by the Moon Glows? Gloria, Hey Senorita, or Sincerely? Sincerely. Who released the classic Since I Don't Have You with its soaring vocals and melancholic lyrics in 1958? The Chords, The Skyliners, or The Schoolboys? The Skyliners. Which doo-wop song tells a playful and humorous story of being lost in the jungle? Stranded in the jungle, lost in the Amazon, or the mighty jungle? Lost in the Amazon. Which song by the Silhouettes features catchy vocal harmonies and humorous lyrics about finding employment? Get a job, I got bills, or unemployable? Get 
get a job. Which song by the Five Satins is a beautiful ballad known for its romantic lyrics and smooth vocal harmonies? Sixteen Candles, Maybe, or To the Isle. To the Isle. Which song by the Penguins captures the essence of early doo-wop with its rhythmic vocal harmonies and catchy melody? A Thousand Miles Away, Oh What a Night, or Maybe? Maybe. And let's move to Rhythm and Blues. Who originally recorded the song Hound Dog? Big Mama Thornton, Elvis Presley, or Ray Charles? Big Mama Thornton. Who released the song At Last in 1960? Cliff Richard, The Monotones, or Etta James? Etta James. Which song reached number one on the R&B charts in 1953? Mama, He Treats Your Daughter Mean, Rocket 88, or Tutti Frutti? Mama, He Treats Your Daughter Mean. Who released the song Rocket 88 in 1951? Jackie Brenston and his Delta Cats, James Brown and the Famous Flames, or Clyde McFadder and the Drifters. Jackie Brenston and his Delta Cats. Which song established the Drifters as one of the leading vocal groups of the era? Money Honey, What I Say, or Boogeyman Do? Money Honey. Who released the song Please, Please, Please in 1956? Jackie Brenston and his Delta Cats, James Brown and the Famous Flames, or Clyde McFadder and the Drifters? James Brown and the Famous Flames. What year was the song What I Say by Ray Charles released? 1950, 1954, or 1959? 1959. Who released the song The Great Pretender? The Platters, The Penguins, or The Pretenders? The Platters. Who released the sultry rhythm and blues song Fever? The Everly Brothers, Jackie Wilson, or Little Willie John? Little Willie John. Who released the song that blended gospel and R&B elements, I've Got a Woman? The Champs, The Flamingos, or Ray Charles? Ray Charles. Who released the R&B and Jump Blues song, Caldonia? Louis Jordan, Patsy Cline, or The Champs? Louis Jordan. Who released the song Work With Me Annie in 1954? Shirley and Lee, Hank Ballard and the Midnighters, or Patsy Cline and the Flamingo, Flamingos? Hank Ballard and the Midnighters. Who released the song Sweet Little Sixteen? Chuck Berry, Cliff Richard, or the Isley Brothers?
Chuck Berry. Who released the song, I Put a Spell on You? Jerry Lee Lewis, Teresa Brewer, or Screamin' Jay Hawkins? Screamin' Jay Hawkins. Who released the song, Papa's Got a Brand New Bag? Alex North, James Brown, or Nancy Sinatra? James Brown. And let's move to country music. Which artist released the iconic song, I Walk the Line in 1956? Nina Simone, Johnny Cash, or Willie Nelson? Johnny Cash. Who originally recorded the song Blue Moon of Kentucky that gained popularity in the 50s? Bill Monroe, Elvis Presley, or Paul Anka? Bill Monroe. Who wrote the song Hello Walls? Farron Young, Nancy Sinatra, or Willie Nelson? Willie Nelson. Who had a hit with the song I Can't Stop Loving You? The Cadillacs, Sonny Boy Williamson II, or Ray Charles? Ray Charles. And let's go to question 50. Who originally recorded the song Mule Skinner Blues? Cliff Richard, Jimmy Rogers, or Buddy Holly? Jimmy Rogers. Which artist had a hit with the song, Oh Lonesome Me? Don Gibson, Les Paul and Mary Ford, or the Isley Brothers? Don Gibson. In which song was the Ray Price Shuffle introduced? White Lightning, The Shuffle, or Crazy Arms? Crazy Arms. Which artist had a hit with the song Walkin' After Midnight? Etta James, Nancy Sinatra, or Patsy Cline? Patsy Cline. Which artist released the song Honky Tonk Blues? Carl Perkins, Hank Williams, or Jimmy Rogers? Hank Williams. Who had a hit with the song I Fall to Pieces? Etta James, Nancy Sinatra, or Patsy Klein? Patsy Klein. Who originally recorded the song Blue Yodel Number no. 8? Bill Monroe, Elvis Presley, or Jimmy Rogers? Jimmy Rogers. Who had a hit with the country song 16 Tons? Ferlin Husky, Johnny Cash, or Tennessee Ernie Ford? Tennessee Ernie Ford. Which artist released the song I'm Moving On? Hank Snow, Little Richard, or Paul Anka?
Hank Snow, who released the song, I Forgot to Remember to Forget, Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, or Willie Nelson. Elvis Presley, who originally recorded the song Lovesick Blues, Ray Price, Hank Williams, or Leon Payne. Hank Williams. And let's move to traditional pop. Who recorded the song Fly Me to the Moon in 1954? Bobby Darin, Frank Sinatra, or Ray Price? Frank Sinatra. Question 62. Which song became a massive hit for Bobby Darin in 1959? My Way, Mac the Knife, or Moon River? Mac the Knife. Who had a career defining hit with the song Fever in 1958? Doris Day, Patsy Cline, or Peggy Lee? Peggy Lee. Which song is one of Dean Martin's most famous recordings? That's Amore. The Way You Look Tonight, or Strangers in the Night. That's Amore. Who recorded the song Que Sera Sera in 1956? Doris Day, Nancy Sinatra, or Teresa Brewer? Doris Day. Which song became a hit for Tony Bennett in 1951? Blue Moon, Blue Velvet, or Red Velvet? Blue Velvet. Which song became Tony Bennett's signature tune? I Left My Heart in San Francisco? My Way or Havana? I left my heart in San Francisco. Who recorded the original Ebb Tide in 1953? Stan Getz and Astrid Gilberto, The Righteous Brothers, or Frank Craxfield and his orchestra? Frank Chaxfield and his orchestra. Who was the voice of the original version of Unchained Melody for a film's soundtrack in 1955? Alex North, The Righteous Brothers, or Todd Duncan? Todd Duncan. Question 70. Who recorded the song I've Got You Under My Skin? Teresa Brewer, Little Richard, or Frank Sinatra? Frank Sinatra. Which song was originally composed as an instrumental piece by Charlie Chaplin? Smile, Splendid, or Singing in the Rain? Smile. Who recorded the song Love is a Many Splendored Thing in 1955? Jimmy Rogers, The Four Aces, or The Drifters? Four Aces. Which song was originally recorded for the film The Wizard of Oz? Beyond the Sea, Love Me Tender, or Somewhere Over the Rainbow? Somewhere Over the Rainbow. 
Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Which song became one of Elvis Presley's signature ballads? Love Me Tender, Mona Lisa, or Cry Me a River? Love Me Tender. Who earned an Academy Award for Best Original Song with the song Mona Lisa? Frank Sinatra, Julie London, or Nat King Cole? Nat King Cole. And we are moving to jazz. Who composed the song If I Were a Bell? Little Richard, Frank Loser, or Bobby Freeman? Frank Loser. Which song is known for its distinctive 5-4 uh, time signature? The one to step, the waltz, or take five? Take five. Who composed the song Monin? Buddy Holly, Bobby Freeman, or Bobby Timmons? Bobby Timmons. Which song is considered a bebop classic? A Night in Tunisia, Lost in Mumbai, or Ibiza? A Night in Tunisia. Which song carries the spirit of the 1950s jazz era with its model approach? Aragon, My Funny Valentine, or Maiden Voyage? Maiden Voyage. Which song features the collaboration between Duke Ellington and John Coltrane? Round About Midnight, In a Sentimental Mood, or my favorite things. In a sentimental mood. Which jazz song composed by Thelonious Monk features a catchy melody and distinctive chord progressions? Blue Train, Red Velvet, or Straight No Chaser? Straight No Chaser. Who composed the jazz song Lullaby of Birdland? George Shearing, Alex North, or Louis Jordan? George Shearing. Who composed the romantic ballad My One and Only Love? Bobby Freeman, Guy Wood, or The Five Satins? Guy Wood. Which jazz masterpiece is by Miles Davis? Blue Train, So What, or Round Midnight? So What. Which jazz composition was originally composed for the film The Uninvited? Bag's Groove, Beyond the Sea, or Stella by Starlight. Stella by Starlight. Which jazz composition features John Coltrane's powerful saxophone playing? About You, Blue Train, or Dizzy? Blue Train. Who composed the jazz standard Round Midnight? Dizzy Gillespie, Thelonious Monk, or Cannonball Adderley?
Thelonious Monk, which jazz standard was originally a French song titled Les Feuilles Mortes, Autumn Leaves, Winter Wind, or Summer Sun. Autumn Leaves. My Funny Valentine was first recorded by who in 1954? Chet Baker, Guy Wood, or the Monotones? Chet Baker. And let's move to our mystery round. Who sang the romantic ballad Too Young, the most popular song of 1951 in the U.S.? Carl Perkins, Nat King Cole, or the Isley Brothers? Nat King Cole. Who was the artist behind the iconic 1952 hit Blue Tango? The Drifters, Little Willie John, or Leroy Anderson? Leroy Anderson. Which 1950s song by Les Paul and Mary Ford translates to Go With God, Viva La Vida, Deja Que Dios, or Vaya Con Dios? Vaya Con Dios. Who was the artist behind the 1954 hit Little Things Mean A Lot? The Big Bopper, Kitty Callen, or Teresa Brewer? Kitty Callen. Which iconic song by Billy Haley and his Comets is often credited with launching the rock and roll era? Mayhem, Rock Around the Clock, or Sorry for Party Rocking? Rock Around the Clock. Which Italian song released in 1958 won the Grammy Award for Record of the Year in 1959? Volare, Funicoli Funicula, or O Sole Mio? Volare. Who wrote the song Summertime Blues? Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, or Eddie Cochran. Eddie Cochran. Who released the timeless ballad, What a Wonderful World? Louis Armstrong, Leroy Anderson, or Carl Perkins? Louis Armstrong. Who composed the song Mambo Number no. 5? Damaso Perez Prado, Dion DiMucci, or Richie Valens? Damaso Perez Prado. And question 100 What is the general theme of Yakity Yak by the Coasters? Bitter and serious? humorous or spiteful humorous is the answer and our bonus question which duo released how high the moon in 1951 let us know the answer in the comments and how well you did with our quiz class einstein rewards and here they are. Thanks for playing this quiz. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye bye.